Hi there. This is William Shakespeare's Othello in under 300 seconds. <gasps> Act 1. Setting. Venice. Iago, an ensign in the Venetian army, and Rodrigo, a nobleman, have a secret nighttime discussion. See, Iago hates his general, Othello, because Othello promoted Cassio to the role of his lieutenant. Rodrigo also hates Othello because he wanted to marry Desdemona, a Venetian noblewoman who Othello was married in secret. Iago and Rodrigo taunt Desdemona's father, Brabantio, with the news that she has been stolen from under his nose. Brabantio calls for a mob to arrest Othello, and Rodrigo joins in, whilst Iago goes to warn Othello with the danger. Othello doesn't seem bothered by the news, and even when the mob arrives to bring him before the Duke of Venice to answer for these allegations, Othello threatens to drop them where they stand. Luckily, the Duke has summoned everyone to his court anyway to discuss a war brewing in Cyprus. They arrive, and the whole secret marriage business is discussed first, with Brabantio accusing Othello of bewitching his daughter using MAGIC! Othello reminds him that it was when he was at Brabantio's house telling stories of daring do and heroism that he first charmed Desdemona. Othello calls for Desdemona to corroborate this testimony. They do, she does, and everyone is convinced, but Brabantio sounds out sad times. He could move things along. Jig says that Cyprus is besieged by a Turkish fleet and Venice needs to intervene. Othello, Desdemona, Iago, Cassio, and the Venetian navy are to go to Cyprus and mount the defence. Rodrigo is annoyed that Iago's plan has failed, but Iago tells him to collect up his money and follow them to Cyprus as they haven't lost yet. <gasps> Act 2 Cyprus. Othello and the Venetian navy triumph when storm sweeps in, destroying the Turkish fleet. Desdemona and Othello <coughs> celebrate. <laughs> and Iago plots to use Desdemona and Cassio's friendship against Othello. Othello decrees that there will be a night of celebration in honour of their victory over the Turkish fleet. Cassio, already half drunk, is spurred on by Iago to drink even more. Rodrigo antagonises him and Cassio tries to fight him. Montano, the governor of Cyprus, seeing that Cassio is drunk, tries to restrain him, but Cassio wounds Montano. Othello enters and is all like, Cassio, you have killed the vibe! And dismisses Cassio as his lieutenant for his disorderly behaviour. Cassio is despondent and Iago sneakily suggests Cassio go to Desdemona to get her to plead with Othello for his job back. Cassio agrees and leaves. Rodrigo enters and says he's tired, penniless, and wants to go home. Iago convinces him to stay as he could have further use for him. <coughs> Act 3. Iago's wife and Desdemona's servant, a woman called Amelia, meets Cassio and takes him to meet Desdemona. Desdemona promises to do everything she can to get Cassio back. Into Othello's good books and promises she will not stop clawing for Cassio's reinstatement. Honey, I'm off to Zumba. Okay, forgive Cassio, bye, I love you. Othello and Iago watch Cassio leave Desdemona's company, and Iago remarks that their closeness is. <laughs> By unhappy coincidence, right then and there, Desdemona starts feeling with Othello that Cassio be forgiven. Othello dismisses her initially, thinking no more of it. Iago makes a thinly veiled reference that Cassio is untrustworthy, and Othello becomes suspicious and jealous of Cassio's closeness with Desdemona. Iago then brings up how if Desdemona was able to keep their marriage hidden from her father, clearly she's really good at keeping secrets. This stokes Othello's jealousy, but he still hopes she is true to him. He asks Iago to watch for other signs of her infidelity. Desdemona enters and notices Othello is in discomfort. She drops her strawberry spotted handkerchief. Yes! Which will have ramifications throughout the entire play because it is a token Othello gave Desdemona when they were courting and it has a deep personal connection to Othello's mother. Amelia picks it up, recalling that Iago has wanted her to seal it for him a few times. Iago takes it from her and plants it in Cassio's bedchamber. Othello returns, so tormented by jealous thoughts that he believes he can no longer function properly as a general. Othello orders Iago to go and find him definitive proof, and Iago rubs salt in the wound with another lie, recalling the time Cassio and he shared a bed together and Cassio started to <laughs> become intimate with him in his sleep, believing he was Desdemona. That didn't happen, it was all a lie made up by Iago. The final straw is when Iago says he saw Cassio with the handkerchief. Yes! Othello takes this as irrefutable proof of an affair and swears an oath to kill both Desdemona and Cassio. Othello then makes Iago his lieutenant, the role that Iago wanted right from the beginning. Othello then meets Desdemona and in a passion he asks for the handkerchief, which obviously is not on her. She chooses this of all times to resume her plea to Othello to forgive and rehire Cassio. Othello erupts in a rage and storms out, leaving Amelia to remark on how all men are jealous. It also turns out that Cassio has been seeing a Cyprian prostitute named Bianca. Yes! She has found the handkerchief in Cassio's bedroom and confronts him about it, thinking he's been sleeping around. Cassio says he found it, like the handkerchief, and wanted to make a copy of it, which contains Bianca for now. <laughs> Act 4. Iago continues to appear sympathetic to Othello's jealousy, but taunts him with sexual imagery of Desdemona and Cassio having hanky pandy. Othello has a fit and becomes incapacitated, unable to see, hear, or speak. Cassio enters, but Iago dismisses him before Othello wakes up. As Othello comes to, Iago tells him to hide and observe a conversation he's about to have with Cassio. Iago has a suggestive conversation about Cassio's thing with Bianca. Othello, watching but not hearing, assumes he is bragging about bedding Desdemona. Bianca enters mid conversation, again complaining about the handkerchief to Cassio. Othello sees it in her possession and takes it as a final proof. When Cassio and Bianca leave, Othello contemplates how to murder both Cassio and Desdemona. Iago brutally suggests that Othello strangle her in their wedding bed because she has contaminated it with her affair. Iago says he will deal with Cassio. Just then, a Venetian gentleman, Ludovico, arrives from Venice with news. Cassio has been promoted to governor of Cyprus. <laughs> Othello is infuriated by the news, but Desdemona is overjoyed, resulting in Othello striking her publicly in front of Ludovico. Ludovico is shocked, but Othello makes a show of how Desdemona is so obedient, suggesting she is available to any man who wants her. Mm. Ludovico is invited to supper. Othello interrogates Amelia about Desdemona's supposed infidelity, but Amelia swears she is loyal. Desdemona enters, and Othello emotionally accuses her of being a horse, trumpet, unfaithful, all manner of very nasty things. Desdemona is confused and saddened to see her husband in pain, insisting she is wrongly accused. The bell rings and they head to dinner, but Rodrigo appears and detains Iago, who's frustrated because he still doesn't have Desdemona yet. Through the power of persuasion, Iago convinces Rodrigo to attack Cassio again, but this time with the intention to kill. Kill him. I shouldn't. Do it. Cut to the end of dinner and Amelia tells Desdemona that she has put the wedding sheets on their bed. Desdemona sings a sentimental song called Willow, and Amelia repines that it is the husband's fault that women cheat on them, as they should be kind to their wives. Desdemona bids Amelia a good night. <laughs> Act 5! Rodrigo attacks Cassio in the street. Cassio overpowers Rodrigo and wounds him, but Iago sneaks behind Cassio and stabs him in the leg. Ludovico and Gratiano arrive away Cassio, who identifies Rodrigo as the assailant. Iago secretly kills Rodrigo to silence him. Final scene, the bedroom. Othello enters to find a sleeping Desdemona. He wakes her and grimly asks if she said a prayer this evening. She begs for her life, but he smothers her with a pillow. Emilia enters and sees Desdemona, who with her dying breath states that Othello is innocent. She dies and Emilia raises the alarm. Ludovico, Iago, and Montano gather in the bedroom, and
As other play ends with Othello, Desdemona, and Amelia beard, Iago in custody, and Cassio, the governor of Cyprus, allowed to decide Iago's fate. The end!